All right, I got to admit to being wrong about something. And I don't think I've ever been so happy to be wrong in my entire life. In a video I posted a few days ago, I said that there was no way Konami would ever partner with another developer to make new Silent Hill games, specifically Western developers. Instead, they would, more likely, sit on the IP. Unless, I don't know, they had to sell off their assets in order to avoid bankruptcy. Then a couple of people were like, but they outsourced development on Silent Hill Downpour, and then I had to clarify by saying, yeah, but I meant now, not then. The Konami of today is different from the Konami of yesteryear. Well, looks like I was wrong, and I have no problem admitting I was wrong, especially when it comes to something near and dear to my heart. Looks like Konami is quote-unquote partnering with a Western developer. Is it Blue Box Studios? Is it Kojima? Nope. And I still contend that those rumors aren't true. So in that respect, I still think I'm right. Rather, Konami has announced a partnership with Bloober Team, a Polish game developer. Here is the press release from Bloober Team's website, quote, Konami, one of the world's largest game publishers, and Bloober Team have signed a strategic cooperation agreement. It will include jointly developing selected contents and exchanging know-how. Not all of you will know who Bloober Team is. They are known for their work on the Layers of Fear franchise, Observer, Blair Witch, and most recently, The Medium. Though the agreement is not officially finalized, it's looking like it's nonetheless going to happen. Moreover, when both parties sign on the dotted line, that is apparently when announcements will start to be made. Here's Konami's statement to that effect. Quote, we will announce information about contents from the Business Alliance once details are decided. Now gee whiz, I wonder why these two companies could be partnering. Given the fact that all of Bloober Team's games have been horror games, the only logical conclusion is that we're finally getting a Contra walking simulator, where instead of shooting bullets, you shoot jump scares at the enemy. That, or a Pro Evolution soccer game where, instead of playing soccer, you dive into the mind of a tortured, drug-addled pro-athlete. But then again, I suppose there is a slight chance, a teeny tiny chance, they could be working on a new Silent Hill game. For the record, I'm being sarcastic. I'm not trying to avoid admitting I was wrong. I'm just trying to be humorous. Come on, guys. This has to be it. It has to be. This has to be Silent Hill. If this announcement and logical deduction doesn't do it for you, let's go back a few months to examine a couple of other pieces of evidence. Back in February, Bloober Team announced it was working on a pre-existing horror IP with a very famous gaming publisher. The subtitle for this article I'm looking at here says, We're all thinking the same name with obviously a picture from Silent Hill 2 below. Also, back in February, the former composer for the Silent Hill games, my boy, Akira Yamaoka, gave an interview with a YouTube channel named Alhub. In that interview, he said he was working on his next game project and said it was, quote, the one you've been hoping to hear about. That clip was removed, and I imagine this was done because the deal between Konami and Bloober Team had not yet been finalized, so Yamaoka didn't want to get into legal trouble. Now, as for my personal thoughts on the whole situation, I'm torn between feelings of pure jubilation and feelings of pessimism. Let me explain why. Look, the fact that we're getting a new Silent Hill game at all just makes me happy. Not only because I love the games, but also because I am primarily known on YouTube for analyzing and explaining Silent Hill lore. More Silent Hill games means more content for my channel. Huzzah! Also, if you consider all the game studios out there that make horror games, Bloober Team is arguably the heir apparent to the Silent Hill franchise. I will clarify that statement with some caveats in a moment, but follow me here. Ever since the PT Silent Hills demo got taken off the PSN store by Konami, various games have tried to keep the legacy of that demo alive. I think you can argue that most recently we saw an homage to that legacy in Resident Evil Village, with the fetus monster and the tight hallways. But above all, the one studio that has done the most to keep that legacy alive 
is Bloober Team, especially with the Layers of Fear games. Those games scream PT with the first person view, the shifting between dimensions, the monsters, and all that. I will say right now that their game, Observer, is one of the most underrated games of the last five years. That game is an absolutely genius mixture of sci-fi and horror and has a great story embedded within. I highly recommend you guys play it. If Bloober Team can take the atmosphere and the investigative aspects of Observer and put that into a Silent Hill game, we could be in for something really special. But having said that, there are things about Bloober Team that have me worried about what they would do with a Silent Hill game. First of all, their most recent game, The Medium. Before that game came out, everybody was saying that it was the closest thing to a Silent Hill game we would ever get. It had the shifting between dimensions, the creepy looking monsters, and also Akira Yamaoka did the soundtrack for that game. I played that game and it wasn't good. It was boring as hell. And it's not because I was expecting it to be the next Silent Hill. I wasn't. I knew what Bloober Team had done prior with their games, and I was expecting the gameplay to be closer to Observer rather than Silent Hill. Nonetheless, I just found the game... I just found it... I can't think of a better word than boring. Like, I didn't care about the characters. I wasn't scared. I didn't feel any sense of dread. I didn't care about the mystery. The only things I liked were, obviously, the music and the graphics. Granted, I know there are people that loved the crap out of the medium, and more power to you. What I can't help but notice, though, is that the Bloober Team games have the most divisive reactions from people. With the exception of Observer, which most people seem to have liked, the Medium and the Layers of Fear games received divisive reactions. There are people that love those games to death, but also people that find them dreadfully mediocre. I never played the Blair Witch game, but again, you got people that think it's the pinnacle of modern horror, and several others that thought it was lazily made. If Bloober Team is going to handle what is arguably the greatest horror game franchise of all time, it cannot be divisive. They are following up not just the original Silent Hill games, but the PT demo as well. Rightly or wrongly, people are going to expect this game to live up to the promise of Hideo Kojima's Silent Hills. That's just the way it is, unfortunately. There are two best case scenarios that I can think of. First of all, obviously, Bloober Team could put together a Silent Hill game that is virtually identical to the first three games in terms of story, gameplay, atmosphere, and music, but with updated graphics. I would be fine with that. The other best case scenario, and I think the more likely scenario, is that Bloober Team would do a Silent Hill game that is like Observer and Layers of Fear, where the main character is trying to solve a mystery. I would hope that this type of game would have some form of combat, but even there I'm wary because none of Bloober Team's previous games have had combat, so I wonder if they would be able to do a good job their first time around. In the worst case scenario, I imagine a Bloober Team Silent Hill game turning out like the medium where you're just walking around all the time. There's no sense of impending doom, there's virtually no chance you're going to die, and there's no combat. Now people might say, but PT had no combat and it was great. Yes, but that was just a demo. What about the rest of the game? If you were to play the PT demo for eight hours, would it be just as scary for you all the way through and on repeated playthroughs? Well, I imagine that people would respond to that question in much the same way that they have responded to the Bloober Team games. Some would love eight hours of PT, but I don't think I would. And I know there's other people that wouldn't. It's fine if it's two or three hours, like with Layers of Fear, but if it's going to be the length of a proper Silent Hill game that you want to keep coming back to, I don't think that will be sufficient. Plus, if they're going to do eight hours of PT, those eight hours have to be better than what we got seven years ago in the PT demo, and I doubt that any developer would be capable of doing that, let alone Bloober. So, Luber Team does have an immense weight on their shoulders, but I'm optimistic that the team realizes how significant that weight is. I think they respect Silent Hill too much to not give it their all. I'll be covering every piece of news after the game inevitably gets announced, and uh... <laughs> By the way, if anybody from Bloober Team wants a creative consultant on Silent Hill lore, you know where to find me. Anyways, I pass things off to you guys. 
Is there any chance that this partnership will not result in a Silent Hill game? Are you excited about Bloober Team's take on the franchise? Let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like, that helps me out tremendously. With all that said, I'm gonna get back to what I was working on originally before I read this news. Expect a new series of videos coming out within the week. Until then, just remember, stay yellow.